A lot of people are turning to grocery delivery apps to help them stock up while they're on the go. But how much more are you having to pay to have those groceries brought right to your front door? In a report he filed earlier, consumer investigative reporter Xavier Hershevitz found out. I used it and loved it. During the pandemic, grocery delivery services like Instacart and Shipt skyrocketed. It was just a completely positive experience. Now, many still use the services to take care of their groceries while they're preoccupied with the many areas of a busy life. Usually they just, I mean, get everything that you need and um, if there's something, they substitute it. So it's also really convenient and easy to use. But how much more are you paying to avoid the grocery store? We went shopping to find out. Is this it? Once I made it inside, I had a grocery list of these seven items. Most to make a dinner, and then just some basics. Once I grabbed my canned goods, picked out the pack of chicken breast, and grabbed a two liter to wash it all down, we headed to the checkout. With it all rang up, our total was $23.72. Now we're gonna try Instacart. I put the same seven items in the cart, Subtotal there, $28.62. Delivery fee was actually free for us. The service fee, $4. That brought our total to $32.98. That's $9.26 more than our in-store visit. That's with free delivery and doesn't even include a tip for the shopper. You save time and time is money, so. <laughs> so I put the same seven items we bought at the grocery store into my shipped cart. Once you add in that delivery fee in there and the tip for your driver, that brings us up to $45.56. That's $21.84 more than our in-store trip. We'd be paying nearly double for the same seven items we got in store. It's like a pretty hefty tax on it, so I'd rather just go and get it myself. They earn their money, so for me, it was well worth it. I still think it's reasonable, yeah. you know, and it was a, a, a totally positive experience. We reached out to Instacart and shipped. An Instacart spokesperson tells the I-Team when it comes to delivery fees, it can vary based on same-day service and if your order's under $35. When it comes to their service fees, a spokesperson says it helps cover operating costs and they, quote, vary and are subject to change based on different factors. Ship tells the I-Team that prices vary by retailer and in some instances, they differ from in-store. In a statement, a spokesperson tells us their membership option is the best way to use the service. Those with a membership can, quote, place as many orders as they want throughout their membership and get free delivery on orders over $35. For non-member orders under $35, quote, a service fee may be incurred. Many grocery stores offer a free grocery pickup option. That's going to save you time by having them still shop for you and saves you money by just swinging by and picking it up. For the I-Team, I'm consumer investigative reporter Xavier